hello everyone in today's video we will be solving one of the previous year question so in this question we are given an electron which is moving under the influence of a point nucleus having an atomic number z so let's start we are given a nucleus around which an electron is moving so this is a radial distance r making an angle of theta with the x axis this is y axis so first we have to write the effective potential so in effective potential we are having the two terms first is a centrifugal term that is l square by 2 m r square and then other is attractive potential k z e square by r so this is a centrifugal term and this is a nuclear attractive potential before starting this we should know the two lagrange equations these are the basic equations so i'm just writing this so m r square theta dot which is equal to angular momentum is constant this is our first equation and the second is m r double dot that is a force m a which is equal to minus d by dr u effective so we first have to find out this d by dr so this d by dr u effective as a function of r so let's do the differentiation taking the bunch of constants out l square by 2m and the differentiation of 1 by r square is minus 2 over r cube and then constants and the differentiation of 1 by r is minus 1 by r square so this two will cancel out and this is minus l square by m r cube this is minus minus positive k z e square by r square so this is our differentiation now let's put this in equation number 1 so we have to substitute here so we get m r double dot is equal to minus the expression is minus l square m r cube then plus k z e square by r square so let's take in the negative sign l square m r cube minus k z e square by r square so we got this expression now we have to find out the r double dot so we know r is a function of theta and we if we know the theta we can easily find out this r at that particular angle and now we are making the substitution so we are using the substitution which will make our task easier so let's say u is equal to 1 by r so we are using so we are using the substitution so let's start so first we have to find out this r dot which is equal to dr by dt we know that r is dependent on theta so we can implicitly differentiate this with theta and we know the theta dot using the first lagrange equation theta dot l over mr square we can write this so let's 
do this theta dot dr over d theta this is l m r square dr by d theta and we have to substitute r with u so this will become 1 over r square is u square and this is d by d theta 1 over u so l over m u square and this is minus 1 over u square du by d theta so u square u square will cancel out and we are left with minus l over m du by d theta so let's write it here so we get the r dot which is equal to minus l over m du by d theta now we have to find out the r double dot so this is r dot over dt similarly we have to again do this so our r double dot will become d over d theta substituting the r dot l over m minus l over m du by d theta this is theta dot so our r dot taking the constant out this will become the double derivative of u and this is l over m r square so our r double dot will become minus l square m square over r square du by d theta square let's substitute this one over r square with u this will be u square over m square du d theta square so let's put the value of r double dot in this equation so m r double dot is equal to l m r cube minus k z e square over r square so this will become m r is l square over m square u square d double differentiation and this is l square m and we will substitute this r with u this will become u cube and this is k z square u square so let's cut this u square so we are left here with single u and this m with m so finally our equation is minus l square by m d square u over d theta square and this is l square by m u minus k z e square so let's take on to the other page so minus l square by m d square u d theta square is equal to l square by m u and this is minus k z e square let's divide this whole equation by l square by m so this will cancel out so we are left with this is u and this will become minus k z e square m over l square so let's take this minus common so our differential equation will become minus u plus k z e square over m l square so let's take p is equal to u minus k z e square m over l square so when we take the differentiation with respect to theta we will get this and double differentiation 
so our differential equation becomes d square p d theta square is equal to minus p so this is our differential equation so the general solution for this differential equation will be p is equal to a cos theta so this will satisfy differential equation so let's substitute the value of p u minus k z e square over m l square is equal to a cos theta so our solution will be u minus k z e square m over l square is equal to a cos theta so we can substitute the value of u that is inverse of r and then it is k z e square m over l square a cos theta so let's take this constant on the other side let's take a constant small c which is equal to inverse of this constant that is l square k z e square m so so our s expression will be simplified to this so this r becomes 1 over a cos theta plus 1 over c so this is c c a cos theta plus 1 so the equation of orbit is C over C A where C A is a, a center city. So we can write the C A as a center city cos theta plus 1. So this is the equation of orbit. So our center city is L square K Z E square M into a so we know the energy of the system is half m r dot square this is kinetic energy plus the effective potential which is l square over 2 m r square minus k z e square over r so we have to find out this r dot we know the equation of orbit which is equal to r is equal to c over 1 plus e cos theta so slightly rearranging this equation and this is c over r let's differentiate this equation with respect to time so this will become epsilon is constant this is minus sine theta theta dot this is c minus 1 over r square this is r dot so let's use the Lagrange's equation that is l over m r square and this is minus c over r square r dot so this will cancel out this so our r dot comes out to be epsilon l over m over c this is sine theta so let's substitute a center city as c a so our uh, this is c a sine theta over c m the c will cancel out so we are left with a l m sine theta so let's put the value of r dot into this so these are the expressions r r dot and the c so we are having this energy of half m r dot square plus the effective potential l square over 2 m r square minus k z e square over r let's substitute for r dot so this is a square l square over m square sine square theta and the other one is l square 2m and the substitute for r 
that is c square 1 plus epsilon cos theta whole square and this is minus k z e square over c 1 plus epsilon cos theta this a square can be written as because we know eccentricity is c a so we can substitute the a with e over c so this is e square l square c square and we will cancel out this m with m so we are left with single m this is sine square theta plus open the brackets 1 plus epsilon square cos square theta plus 2e cos theta and let's multiply and divide by c so we will get the common denominator of c square whole throughout so this is k z e square let's put the value of c here l square over k z e square m this is c square and this is 1 plus epsilon cos theta so we can cancel out this kz square kz square so we can take out this common l square over mc square so in this we get epsilon square sine square theta over 2 plus this is half plus epsilon square cos square theta and this is epsilon and this is half cos theta this two will cancel out and in the last term we get minus 1 minus epsilon cos theta so this epsilon cos theta this will cancel out so let's go into the next page so our energy expression comes out to be taking the epsilon square by 2 common cos square theta plus sine square theta and this is plus half and minus 1 is minus half so this is 1 cos square theta plus sine square theta so e is equal to l square mc square epsilon square minus 1 divided by 2 so now we have to put the value of c here this is l square ka whole square and this k z e square m whole square so after putting the value of c square so we can cancel the l square and we can cancel the m so we are left with k z e square whole square and this m over l square this is 2 e square minus 1 so 2 e l square over k z e square whole square m is equal to e square minus 1 so our eccentricity in terms of energy comes out to be root of 1 plus 2 e l square over k z e square whole square m so we know it is a bound system electron is moving in an orbit so its energy is less than zero if energy is less than zero then this under root will be less than one so our eccentricity is less than one that means it is an ellipse this is the solution for this question. If you have any doubts, you can write me in the comment box. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video.